These three quick exercises will change your life and they only take about five minutes to do in total. This comes from one of the most famous self-help books in the entire world. So these exercises come from You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. It's sold over 40 million copies. There's over 11,000 reviews on Amazon, and it's for a reason. It is one of the most classic and transformational self-help books in the world. And I'm gonna be breaking down three of these exercises for you. Now, before we dive into this, I just wanna say welcome, welcome if you are new here, and thank you, thank you if you are a returner. My name's Jake with jakeducey.com. Wishing you a great day, and just wanna remind you to get my free success hypnosis right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com pinned to the comments and in the description. It's my free success hypnosis to reprogram your limiting beliefs, your subconscious mind, and change your negative thinking patterns so you can start to attract what you want quicker, faster, and easier. Check it out right there down below. Big idea number one, I am willing to change. The very first step to changing your life in You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay is the decision to do so. And this whole thing starts because Louise Hay had terminal cancer and she actually healed it by changing her mind, by doing affirmations in front of the mirror every single day. She grew up in in an abusive household. She was actually raped at a young age. She had every reason in the world to not change herself, to not change her life. Her cards were so bad that she was given, but she made a decision. And that decision changed her life. So to use this exercise from Louise Hay, you can touch your throat as you say, because the throat is the energy center in the body where change takes place, especially when you're speaking your truth. So you can touch your heart and you can repeat to yourself or you could do it in front of the mirror, Louise Hay's mirror exercise and say, I am willing to change. I am willing to change. You can put your hand on your heart. I am willing to change. If you go in front of the mirror, look yourself directly in the eyes and say, I am willing to change. And then notice, is there any resistance that comes up Is there any old negative thoughts or emotions, or maybe it makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable? Does any of that come up? Because if it does, it's totally normal, especially when we don't ignore it. And that's why this affirmation is so powerful, especially when you do it as Louise suggests, and you look directly in the mirror, because you start to notice what comes up that's blocking you from changing your life. Big idea number two comes from a study that was conducted at the University of Hertfordshire in 2014. Try to say that 10 times quick, Hertfordshire. So University of Hertfordshire did a pretty interesting research study. And what they were doing was measuring self-acceptance and the self-image behavior that's associated with patients. Now, this study was pretty revealing because it showed that the number one habit that corresponds most closely with us being satisfied in our overall lives is self-acceptance. It's self-acceptance. You have to love yourself, baby. You gotta love yourself. And that's what Louise Hay's whole message was about. She didn't love herself. And she felt like she was unlovable because she was raped as a child. And she was able to start to see how her inability to love herself was what was causing the cornerstone of the emotional segment of the disease that was bringing about the cancer in her life. 
So everything from you can heal yourself, and by the way, she ended up totally curing herself from cancer and, and never came back again, and she lived a long, beautiful, healthy life, and I actually had the pri pri privilege to meet her one time, and her whole message was, love yourself. So how do you do this? Louise says every day, go in front of the mirror and look in the mirror and say to yourself, I love and approve of myself. I love and approve of myself. I love and approve of myself. And I know that kind of sounds a little bit silly, right? Because I thought the same thing. I grew up and I was like, this macho athlete. And then I dropped out of college and I backpacked around the world. And then I write a book about it and all the publishers said no. And I realized at the corner, I didn't love myself and I didn't accept myself. And I was constantly judging myself. Well, you're not smart enough and you had ADD in school, so you're not smart enough to publish a book. And all the publishers said no, and here's what's wrong with you. And I realized it wasn't the publisher stopping me. It wasn't that I was too young that was stopping me. I was stopping myself because I didn't approve of myself. I didn't love myself. So I started standing in front of the mirror every single day and I started talking about how I love myself. I started talking about how I accept myself, how I'm proud of myself. I love you. Guess what? It's not that hard to love yourself when you understand that you're made in the image of God. Literally, you're made in the image of God. So stand in front of the mirror, repeat these words, comment that down below. I love myself. Comment that down below. I love myself and repeat this in the mirror. I love and accept myself. But listen, if you got any issues with that, just understand it's normal. When they were doing that university from Hertzfordshire study, there were some pretty interesting discoveries. And the professor that put it on said, and I quote here, our society puts a huge pressure on us to be successful and to constantly compare ourselves with others. This causes a great deal of unhappiness and anxiety. These findings remind us that if we can learn to be more accepting of ourselves as we really are, we're likely to be much happier. So what the heck does this mean, Jake? It's time to love yourself and accept yourself. Repeat it. Repeat it and feel it. I love myself and accept myself. I love myself and accept myself. Now, go in front of the mirror and say it and then flex. Yeah. Now, big idea number three personally changed my life. And this is a powerful journaling exercise that I started to do every single day. So what I would do is turn my success hypnosis on. You can check it out for free right there down below, linked in the comments and in the description. So I'd listen to it. And then while I was listening to it softly, I'd get out a pen and pad and I'd write at the top, I love myself, therefore. And then you finish the sentence in as many ways as humanly possible. The first time I did this, and I learned this from uh, Louise Hay, I did 101 reasons that I love myself. Which, by the way, it took me a long time, because at the time, I didn't really love myself very much. So you can go, I love myself because X, Y, and Z. I love myself, therefore I'm worthy of financial success and every day my business is growing and growing. I love myself, therefore I'm worthy of love. I'm attracting the perfect romantic relationships into my life. Every day, it's getting better and better. This is exactly how you do it, focusing on why you love you. So for a couple more examples, you could say, I love myself, Therefore, I happily earn $30,000 per month, every single month with ease and grace. I love myself, therefore I exercise each and every single day, strengthening my physical body and my immune system. I love myself, therefore I nourish my body with healthy food that supports my health and vitality and well-being. I love myself, therefore everything in my life gets better and better because my outside world's just a reflection. So I'm attracting amazing things and everything I do succeeds and everything I do prospers. Just let your mind flow and don't overthink it. So put a smile on your face now and make sure you smash the like button on 
on this video. Check out my free success hypnosis right there down below. Give me a comment. I love myself. I'm worthy of everything I desire. And I hope you enjoyed these three quick exercises from Louise Hay's famous book, You Can Heal Yourself.